All right, here we go. So everybody's been knowing about Drake and Kendrick Lamar. Uh. Is this is this a real beef or is this an attention grab? Obviously, Kendrick Lamar has shouted out Drake in a, I would say, a negative way with the control verse years ago. Drake didn't really respond on record. He's doing it again. Is Drake going to respond? What do you think is going to happen with this? I'm going to go to Mark Ford on this one. Drake already responded. Lean you know, on stage and like saying like, oh, he, real niggas need to Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah, he did. Okay. Yeah, he said that. But, um, like, to be honest, man, at that level that they're at, is this really marketing? Because you would think at that level, why are you concerned about anybody else? You know what I'm saying? So you mean for Kendrick Lamar? Kendrick Lamar wakes up and chooses violence, yeah, so to speak. So, so to speak. But like to me, that whole diss sounded like it's not really aimed at Drake per se. Like Drake's honored and everything. But if you listen, it sounds to me like it's more geared towards J. Cole. J. J. Cole? Yeah. Just because J. Cole is on all those records and albums that he's talking about. Wow. Like I don't know why. And if you think about like all the songs that he was on there with Drake... He's the only one really that could you could kind of take stuff away and be like, man, is he throwing shots at Kendrick? Cause on um that song Evil Ways, he had said something. I take people's DNA and split them and something like that. Yeah. And then um I'm paraphrasing here. I'm, yeah, I'm for sure, for sure. Offhand, but, yeah. Um even on uh was first person shoot him old like he's saying like he uh he named K Dot and he says I feel like Muhammad Ali. So that's like, oh, you think you the top? Dog, then Kendrick came out and like I'm the top dog, you know. Okay, so All that's right. that's the way it feel like. Okay, all right. What about you, Alex? Have you heard the song? Yeah, no, I yeah. Um, I think this is amazing marketing because <laughs> yeah, he is okay. Yeah, he is like big or whatever but you know this is a good marketing because people are starting to talk about it and yeah. it's like oh they're talking about the beef so people are going to go and listen to it right. and even if they didn't even think about going to listen to it now they're going to listen to it because of the beef you know that's true uh, i mean you also have celebrity artists unfollowing drake which is seems like a trend obviously I, I rick th ross looks like that, he unfollowed. I, th I think that's something different bro. I think so what did, why would he unfollow him I all of a sudden smash they girls bro I'm wow right. <laughs> let's talk about it so you think hey, drizzy smashed to, rick ross lady i used to didn't like drake but drake be doing he'd be doing beef different bro. yeah he do okay yeah, okay you know what i'm saying he'd be smashing people's girls and all that stuff oh man yeah he did uh saying so did uh future not follow him too yeah, future. I think they, Wait, they have beef yeah. too. I, I know Rick Ross unfollowed. I think it was somebody else. I can't remember. They, they were future. fighting over some girl. Like, but him, if it was beef over well, some Well, they, they they showed the girl, and she's like, "I have nothing to do with any of this, and it's definitely not over me." So but it's you over. Know it was a, you know it was over her. <laughs> <laughs> that's such a girl. That's kind of it is kind of yeah. petty too. Like, why would you be beef? I mean, yeah. you guys can kind of have anybody you want at yeah. the level you are now. Why are you yeah. fighting over? Anybody. That's a flex for the girl. That, that, that is a flex for her. <laughs> hey, but I'm gonna be real. Drake said the most light skinned thing ever. Oh yeah. come on. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's, 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 light skin. Let's it, go. As far as the beef. Hey, but uh, you light skinned too though. Hey, I, but I could say that this is the okay. most light skinned. Stuff ever. <laughs> He said, I would never sell you out for a rollout. Like talking to the people. Like, yeah, so for sure. For sure. I, I'm. I don't know. That just sound like he don't want to respond. Wow. He's just gonna. <laughs> Tri uh, trigger fingers turn to Twitter fingers. Yeah, uh, that, uh, that reverse of me. That's exactly. That's Ain't crazy. That what he said? That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. It's crazy. I think uh, with the Meek situation, I think it was just a little different in my opinion. I believe Meek kind of came out the box talking on Twitter crazy, and he was like, you know, like, what did I do? I have nothing to do with any of this stuff, and I think it fueled Drake. This is a situation probably competitiveness, and I think Drake's like, nah, I'm not gonna feed into it. Obviously. You know, Kendrick's gonna be coming out with something new more than likely, right? Yeah. Why why feed into it? But and I already think that Kendrick has like like cuts like archives and diss tracks ready. You know what I'm saying? And um uh, maybe Drake just don't wanna take a chance because when you're on the top you don't have to respond, right? Like look at Jay didn't even respond to like certain people. But you gotta think about all the people that Drake didn't respond to. Like when Pusha got him, he didn't respond to him. Uh Drake didn't respond to Common. Common went out at him cold. Yeah. Um who but else? the push of T hurt a little bit. Yeah, it, it hurt a little bit because he was talking about his his mama, his daddy, his uh, son. That's my point though. He, yeah, he didn't respond after that. He yeah. he went on LeBron 
And uh, yeah. on, uh, on his show, and he was all like, oh, I just I just thought it was too personal. Like, come on. Bro. Yeah. Matter of fact, that's the most light skin. <laughs> <laughs> too personal. Yeah. Well, so I don't, I, I personally don't think Drake's going to respond outside of talking on stage. I think he's just going to let it go. And, I, and honestly, mm. if you look at Kendrick, Kendrick is only responding on other people's records as a feature. He doesn't have his own record. And he just he's like, you know, I'm going to hop on this record real quick. He was baiting him, bro. And, and, and see what happens. And, it, and it's, it hasn't worked. Drake's just not going to give in, I don't think. Yeah. Why man. bother? Hey, man, I hope, I hope Kendrick it's throws Drake. one more. It's Drake. Right, it's Drake. I hope Kendrick throws one more, though. That's That really kind of digs in. Because that'd, yeah. be, that'd be cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, yeah. I actually like this record. A lot of people were saying that Future was talking about something different. And, like, the, the beat is like a bop. I'm like... That's perfect for a diss it, record. It, it's perfect think for about all the best diss record. They're bops, right? They're like stuff you could play in the club, right? Yeah. I think it's perfect. Yeah, yeah. It, is, it is good. Who did it? Metro? Um, Metro did that beat. Metro, yeah. Man, that's crazy, But man. I think it's like a play on the E-40 joint, if I remember. I don't know, man. I feel like I feel like people, like Drake said, people use him up when they need him, and then after they get what they want, they kind of f fade away. I think that's kind of what it is. Drake's still the king. He's still on top. He's still. On, yeah. He can put out a trash record. It's gonna go number one, no matter what. Because it's Drake. Because it's Drake. <laughs> like it's you know, it's, it's that's a different conversation. He global. Though. It's a different conversation, though, especially with streams, bro. Yeah. It's just a different conversation. Yeah. But we're not gonna go there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, actually, we're gonna take a break. This is Adina Howard, freak like me, for all you freaks out there.